All right, today we're going to talk about fentanyl, an officer safety concern. However, it's not just an officer safety concern, although that is the primary topic of this video. Fentanyl has become a concern all across the world about people abusing fentanyl and fentanyl being mixed in without people's knowledge into other illicit drugs. I'm sure if you go down to the comment section below, you can see all sorts of people pissing and moaning about the war on drugs and how we do too much and yada, 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 yada. That's not the topic of this video. Trust me, if I started talking about the war on drugs, there'd be a whole lot of people pissed off on both sides of the argument. However, fentanyl is a particular problem for everyone across the spectrum of the drug issue. And the reason fentanyl is a problem is because people have been mixing fentanyl in with heroin for quite some time, and it's created the bad heroin epidemic. Well, the issue is that people are dying from that bad heroin because it was mixed with fentanyl. Now, fentanyl is an opioid, it's a synthetic opioid, and it is 50 to 100 times, depending on the quality of the fentanyl that you get, more potent than morphine, right? It causes respiratory depression. So if you take too much of it, you stop breathing and you die. Or you take too much of it, you almost stop breathing, you die anyway, because you're not getting enough oxygen. It's the most widely used opioid, widely used synthetic opioid in medicine. So fentanyl for a long time, what we were getting is we were getting fentanyl mixed with heroin, I alluded to already. Uh, when you mix fentanyl with heroin, people don't know how much of it they're taking, especially when you start talking about people that are longtime heroin users and they have to use more and more of the drug to get their high, right? You mix fentanyl with it and it's way more potent and it's cheap. It's cheaper than heroin, at least right now today in Illinois where I'm at. It's cheaper than heroin and so the dealers are not cutting it as much. They're telling people, oh, this is really good stuff. And of course your average junkie's going, yeah, okay. And they're putting a whole bunch of it in their system and they're croaking later on. So this is a problem for drug users right up front, especially when people aren't telling them it's fentanyl. Of course, they're not going to. They're going to tell them it's heroin. They're telling them it's H, they're giving them fentanyl, and people don't know how to properly dose for the fentanyl when they're expecting heroin, which is a lot less potent and is probably going to be cut a lot more because heroin's more expensive. So a couple years ago when this started to become a thing, I had a big question about fentanyl, and I honestly didn't come up with the answer until I started asking around at work, and that is that fentanyl is a synthetic opiate and it's very widely used so i understand that there's going to be a lot of it available but how can it be cheaper than heroin you still have to bring it into the country it's still going to have all the same problems with most hard narcotics that aren't being produced here and i know if it's being produced here it's got to be produced in like a legitimate lab right well what i found out is that fentanyl is being made in china and it's being shipped to the united states so you can go to their websites and just order this stuff in fact a lot of of these like rinky dink chinese labs they make legitimate narcotic they make legitimate pharmaceuticals and they'll make this stuff and they actually brag on their websites that they can get it past customs you know well missing half of the words that you would actually need for proper english they're saying that they can bring it in they can sneak this stuff past customs and get it to you so it's just flooding in and because it's being made in a legitimate lab by the thousands of pounds and coming in and not having to be smuggled in it's a lot cheaper than heroin and so that's where the problem of fentanyl is starting to come into the country so for law enforcement ems what are the concerns and what are the precautions that we should be taking well the what a concern that we have with fentanyl is that it's out there and we don't know necessarily where it's at. I've had quite a few samples go to a lab that I thought were heroin, that field tested positive for heroin because it's just testing for opiates and it turns out it's actually fentanyl. Uh, and the concern with that is we're so used to being kind of laissez-faire with our handling of narcotics that now we've got something that can actually hurt us if we happen to like breathe it in or even touch it too much and people are starting to get hurt. People, I haven't found any cases of police officers or EMS personnel getting killed by fentanyl yet. However, there are a lot of cases of the people that are using heroin getting killed by it and of kids getting killed by fentanyl, even just the fentanyl patches that people are prescribed, kids getting into them getting killed. The, the stuff can be dangerous and just handling it can be dangerous. And some of the precautions that we should think about taking. Well, for a long time, the precautions when dealing with uh, any type of drugs was always wear rubber gloves because with heroin or cocaine, you could get it transdermally a little bit into your skin. You wouldn't want to piss hot the next week if something happened. Well, with fentanyl, you can get a whole lot more into your system. People starting to get exposed just through uh, respiration on search warrants. They started to get in their hands transdermally. So the current precautions, and this may change three weeks from now, I don't know, but the current precautions uh, that we're getting from EMS services and from doctors is if you are are you're handling any type 
of narcotic to use nitro gloves that are at least three mils thick because this stuff can go through latex gloves and thinner nitro gloves. So that's fentanyl, an officer safety concern. Hopefully that helps you out a little bit. Obviously I'm not a doctor, I'm not a drug expert. So if you have anything else to add, please put it down in the comments down below. Until next week, you guys be safe. Take care of each other. I'd like to thank all the Patreon supporters and especially the shift supervisor level Patreon supporters that we have listed here. Your contributions are what allows free field training to continue on and become better.